Hey everyone, this is Jennifer, the owner of Faint of Heart. Um, our MySpace URL is myspace.com 86397788 and our website is faintofheart.lovebirth.net and on this tutorial I will be showing you how to do um, <clears throat> excuse me, how to do um, double, triple, and gradient strokes on fonts so here's the gradient one which would be the final product that's just an example and just add the type tool and let's just start all over and I have the simple black so what you want to do is just go here on your layers and then just duplicate just duplicate it drop it on the new layer icon and since I'm going to be doing a triple stroke then you can just um, go ahead grab another one of those and repeat the same process and you want to go um, for the first stroke you want to go to the layer above background double click that layer and then this window will pop up the layer style window and then just go on stroke click on stroke and I'm going to be doing my strokes by two so since there's three of them I'm going to go on I'm going to make it six the first one and I'm going to just go and open my color because I'm only going to be doing single color right now go to my swatches and get this purple here press ok and that's what it looks like and then press ok here and just, and then go on our second layer which is um, copy two or second copy um, the same process basically go on stroke and now I'm going to stroke it on four um, open our colors um, once again go on um, I'm going to use this pink here press ok, ok once again and um, on our final, we're going to do our final layer which is the third copy, the one all the way on the top and on this one, um, the same process all over again um, now this one's going to, I'm going to change it to 2 and then our color I'll this here so I can go to my swatches our color will be this orange one right here. Press OK. And OK. So it looks a little fruity <laughs> because of the colors. But that's your triple stroke. And I'm trying to zoom it in. I hope it doesn't blur. But that's what it is. That's our the triple stroke. And um, I, there's a process that I actually forgot to do that I always do. And on our f on our um, bottom layers, um, change on our bottom layers, which would be these two, change the fill, the filling, to zero. And then do the same for this one. And just the top one, you leave 100. And as you can see, this font looks smoother because it doesn't have those lines around it like it used to. So that is the triple stroke. And um, uh, now I'm going to do the gradient. So I'm going to just go ahead and delete just one of these um, layers. So I'm just going to have two text layers. And I'm going to go on the bottom one. Um, go on stroke. And the stroke, and this is the purple one. And I'm just going to change the stroke to four since I only have two. And um, since I want a gradient, go to fill type, drop it, and click on gradient. Click on the, click here on the gradient, and a window will open. And you just want, and I, since I only want three colors, you can do four, but I only want three. So I'm going to click on this violet, green, and orange. Don't worry, it's not going to be this color. <laughs> I'm going to change it. So you want to click on this little um, color stop right here and I'm gonna go to my swatches and click on this and I'm gonna click on this purple one uh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to click on this purple one. And see how it changed it. And then just click on my second color stop. And do the same process all over again. And once again, it changed it. And then go on my third color stop. And click on this orange here. And so there's how you change the colors without having to open and copy the color code. Um, so I'm just going to add, it will be a little more fancy, I'm going to add a drop shadow. And I always like to make my distances zero unless um, the stroke is really big. So I'm just going to kind of... So I'm, I have it on 8 and 16, and that's what it would look like. And then press OK. And now go to your um, second copy, the copy on the top. Since I only have two text layers, double-click those. And once again, just go to your stroke layer. And I'm, and this is fine, because I had it, it was, since it was the top layer, it was on two. And then um, stay on color. And I'm just going to change my color to white. Press OK. Press OK. And that's what it that's what our final product would look like. And if as you can see here, it starts with orange, pink, and purple. But if you would like to change that and make it purple, pink, and orange, you can just go back here. We're go on your um, layer where you put the gradient, double click, open your window, go on stroke. And then where it says angle, you want to put that angle to zero. So there it is. Um, purple, pink, and orange. Now, if you want a pattern on your font, you can go on your top font, which would be this one here, where it's black, um, where you stroked it white. And then just go to pattern overlay. And... Um, I have one of my patterns here, and I'm just going to click on my white polka dots, and that's what it will look like, but if you actually change the capacity, you can, can kind of see that I'm um, not a good pattern to use, but it's the one I have at the moment. So there you go, and so this was the... Uh, double triple and gradient strokes on fonts and once again i'm jennifer owner of faint of heart myspace.com slash eight six three nine seven seven eight eight and our current website is faint of heart dot lovebirst.net until stated otherwise thank you for watching